Twitch tells me I am streaming, which could be never. You don't know. Hello and welcome to the stream. Um, today we'll just be sort of continuing from yesterday, or whenever the last time I streamed was. Um, and what we're going to be looking at, you know, I called this the list of stuff we're not going to get done. Uh, we're going to go ahead and test the Constellation Boundaries thing, and actually it's a little bit optimistic. We still haven't written all of it. We're going to write the rest of it and then test it using those uh, known stars and known constellations. Um, I did r finally get to run the uh, Jupiter Moon Lunar Eclipse calculations uh, with a 60 second tolerance instead of a one hour tolerance, and I have uh, moved them into a directory that we can access on this machine. So we might look at that as well. Uh, we also want to get back to the heliacal rising stuff and, you know, uh, account for the case where uh, there might be two heliacal risings or there's other problems with the, the graph of when the sun rises that breaks our assumption that uh, it's a continuous rising function. And then other stuff. No, that's probably it. Okay, so getting back to... What the hell is this? Oh, okay. So getting back to our uh, constellation program here. Um, okay, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Um, unfortunately, this is a very long list and it slows Emacs down a bit. But we basically want to say now, um, once we get a right ascension and declination, we do need to multiply them by 3600 because all of our... our um, boundary points are given in um, either hours times 3600, which is not a real unit, or seconds of arc, which is degrees times 3600. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We, we have them in some method. Now, here's what we're going to do. Um, that's very ugly. We're going to look to see where the where in the binary array, where in the array and dec array, the, um, the given uh, the given um, value uh, all right. So whatever they give us, we multiply by 3600. Now we need to find in sort of which block it is in terms of the RA block and the deck block. Then we can look that block up in the uh, the larger array that we have of constellations. 99.99% uh, sure this will not work the first time, and about 80% sure it will never work. So you know, good odds for me. Um, we do need to uh, oh, var. Uh, so we will need to we will need uh, integers to hold these. Um, now, one one question I was sort of wondering about, and it's actually kind of a weird um, question: Does C have a concept of array length? Because I know it just thinks of an array as a pointer to the first element, and then it can just add elements. And if you go off the edge of the array, you get a segmentation fault, or if things are not going well, uh, you see data you're not supposed to see. Um, but I don't know if it actually has an array length uh, feature, so let's go ahead and find out. I mean, there's kind of a there's kind of a, I mean a weirdness in C that it doesn't really think of arrays as arrays. How do I determine the size of my array in C? And there might not be a way to do it. I would advise never to use size of. Um, okay. So, okay, and that actually looks kind of nice. Um, so there is really, I mean, the size of it would give us the amount of memory it's using. Um, I wonder if there's another answer to this. Yep. So you have to basically take the size of the array, and then because each element doesn't take up one byte of memory, or uh, it might, um, uh, you have to make sure, and we're assuming the, uh, and I think in the C array, every element has to take up the same number of bytes because C basically jumps the pointer by a given amount for every element. Um, so that's probably true even in more complicated structures, like using struct or even union or something like that. So let's momentarily comment this out. So I'm kind of curious now. Um, uh, and do I care about size of? I probably do. How about names is not that interesting. Dex? Actually, names is interesting for a totally different reason. Um, 
So we'll do names, RAs, consts, and names, const and names. What the hell am I doing? La 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 la. This, this really needs to go in another file. Well, I mean, this sort of is the file that it goes in, but you know what I'm saying. Actually, I don't know what I'm saying. Ah, okay. Consts. And I realize I need to add more percent %d's. And this is interesting only because it's a, it's a character array. And I think C treats that as an array of arrays. So the actual size of the, um, of a string is not the size of the string, but it's the size of the pointer to the string, I think. Let's go back over here to our term terminals hiding from us. It's shy. Okay. So we go to BC get astro make. Um, I really should have watched that make closer. Uh, but let's see what it does. Okay. Um, so these numbers are sort of as we expect, uh, not meaningful. They're, the arrays are clearly not this size. And we, we wouldn't expect them to be this size either. Um, okay, so now let's go ahead and take the the advice here. Um, and by the way, dex and are, you know they're both they have the same size of uh, um, the things we store in dex and arrays have the same size. So I could you know we could I think it's, I think it's four to be honest. Um, and we could we could just we could log it actually. Um, that would be useful. Size of itself over itself. Okay. And I expect th this to be. Nope, it's size of names. Okay. And just because I'm curious. And this is the kind of stuff you won't get on other streams. Uh, total wastes of time. Size of arrays zero. Um, size of dex dex zero will be the same. I don't care about that. Um, const should be the same, but I will do it because it might be a little different because the numbers are smaller. Somehow it might have. Although C really isn't smart enough to do that. Um, and then the size of the only really interesting thing here is the size of name zero. That's because that should be a pointer to a character array not natural character array. Alrighty. Uh, but argument is long. Oh, come on. Piece of crap. That works. I'm happy with that. That's close enough. So it's okay, so 237, 201, that seems very reasonable. 47,200, which I think is is not quite the multiple of those two numbers, which is bad, actually. Um... Yeah, it's, it's, ooh, that's not good, okay, um, I think it's this number, actually, yeah, uh, that could be a bad thing, actually, we, we need to double check here, but, um, um, I guess if there's 237 values, there's 236 slots, 201 values, 200 slots, so technically this could still be correct. Okay. Technically. Um, okay. So now that we've done that, so now we need to, oops, okay, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm going to be obnoxious. And we, oh, this is not a nested loop. My bad, my bad. Sorry. We don't need to nest our loops here. We're, we're basically just going to look once in RA and once in, in, uh, um, declination because our grid is now square. It's not a it's not a scattered grid. So I less than size of it doesn't really matter which one we do here first. Uh array is zero. Okay. So as we uh, the array is from high to low. Um so the question is uh, we're trying to find the the slot um where you're between this element and the next element, which is probably we could just do that. Um, if RA is 
Okay. Let's do it. There's a clever, clever way to do this. If it's bigger than the next element and smaller than this element, then that's the value we want. However, because it's an ordered array, um, the first time it's less than an element is the one value we want to return. The very first time it's less than an element, that's the, the value we want to return. We don't need to check the next element. And it would be a problem because at the very last element, and this might need to be a minus one, but at the very last element, um, we couldn't check the next one because there isn't a next one. So basically, if we found a place where it's finally less than uh, r raised to i, um, break. And now, just to annoy people, do that. And j. So i and j are not nested in any way. And this, again, is not really necessary because dex is the exact same size as ra's. It's four, four bytes. Uh, j++, plus plus, if dec is less than dex, j, <laughs> break. And I want to make sure I got my i's and j's correct, because that, that would break it. All right, so here we could say um, what value is found. Uh, this is, of course, tells us where in the, in the big array, uh, in the array and dec array, this thing is found. We probably need to adjust this slightly. I think, I think our, um, well actually, I think if that's a less than, it's okay. But we'll see, th this might give us a segmentation fault, uh, or even worse, it might return the wrong, um, it might return the wrong number for us. Um, and for right now, one one, I actually don't know what constellation that's in. I mean, I'm guessing Orion, but I, I don't know. And we're not gonna, ooh, unused variable consts. Yep, you're right. Okay, god damn it, I don't need to see it though. Alright, so BC constel, i9, j0. No idea of knowing that, any way of knowing that's true. But now let's go ahead and, um, the order's already deck, right? We probably need to make a note of that. Um, so now let's go to, because these are degrees and, oh, actually we definitely need to make a note of that. Uh, order is RA dec. RA is in hours. We need to change that, actually. Uh, deck is in degrees. To do radians. All true angles are in radians, but okay. So now, um, we can start with something like 0, 87. So this should be an Ursa, well, that's 89. This should definitely be an Ursa minor. Um, so now the, we, now we probably don't want to be recompiling. Okay, so I1, J0. Um, So we need, okay, so the first one, okay. So I'm trying to figure out which element of the array we need, because the array uh, starts out at um, 90 declination and 90, well, at 24 hours RA, um, but let's see. Uh, and, and it's really very, very close to being a guess. I, I mean, right now, I mean, there is a way to do this. And I think I do need to know the size of the RA's array for this because, um, because I think the order, every, um, every element, you know, every row of elements represents a single declination. I think, I, I'm guessing this is gonna be like so far off, we're gonna need to really fix it. Um, so let's see. Um, okay, uh, oh, I can't see <laughs> RA size, this is actually RAS size, I'm pretty sure it's not going to let me get away with this. Um, I mean, you can declare, I, this is, this is really, really bad. I might have to declare these separately. I don't know if it's going to let me do this.
Um, and here I just now need to say i less than ra size, which is cleaner, but I also will need r. I don't think I'll need dex size for my calculation. Um, Oh, this should not compile. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, there's no way of knowing if that actually... Uh, it is Pomodoro time because it's the first one. I'm going to go ahead and skip it. But after this, every 20 minutes, I will get up and walk around. And if I don't walk off a cliff, I will be back in about two minutes and two seconds, as Bob Eubanks used to say. Um, so that's just a little note to the people who are not listening. If you're on YouTube, you can skip that two minutes, except it's not exactly two minutes, so that won't work. I am such an a-hole. Um, okay. I have no idea if that worked or not. Um, there's one way to tell, is to look at the, uh, the time of BC Constel C versus the time of the compiled program. And, well, they're the same, so it looks like this actually did work somehow. I mean, because, you know, I'm a brilliant pro programmer, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, so... Because uh, if it didn't compile, then it w the obviously the compiled part wouldn't work. Okay. Um, so... Now we want to know what position it is in the consts array, the one that they're saying we're not using. And it's going to be something like um, j times, oh, I probably need to define that one too, actually. Consts, sorry. Const size, the size of consts, divided by size of consts, zero. Okay. Um, so it's going to be, si oh, okay, hang on, yeah, size of, oh, come on. Wait, do I actually need const size? I don't need const size, I just need an RA size. Um, J times RA size plus, no, times dex size, no, RA size plus dex size. This is not going to work. Um... Actually, can we just... No, I'm going to be a little bit careful here. Const val... So this is where in the constant array we expect to find it. And, hey, we're going to go for broke here. Um, let's actually print it out. And it's also going to be an integer, because we're only returning the number for right now. So const val, and then... Yeah, we'll be very clever and pretend that you know, the const value of means that it's this constellation. That's very, very good. Okay, make. Ooh, ooh. So it's looking at the 201st place in the area, which is actually, I'm pretty sure, wrong. Um, because this should be really very close to the first part of the array. Um, but maybe it's not, actually. Uh, but it got the right value. 84 is Ursa Minor now. Now, my friends, we can be even more clever than this. Um, we can now use the const value in the names array. And this is going to be a string, obviously. Um, hang on. Const, const val. Double array reference. Okay. So far, this is going swimmingly. If this actually works, uh, I will go ahead and um, push it to get. I mean, it's not correct, but yeah, that looks really nice so far. Okay, I'm gonna push it to get here. You can't see what I'm doing. That's okay. Breathe. Okay. All right. All pushed out. Okay. So now, I'm pretty sure this is not correct, but uh, we can certainly check it. And we're not quite ready to check it with um, with star names. Right now, we're just going to do sort of a very basic test. Um, 
that I don't know if I want to make. Do I want to make this test? Let me find my little nice little thingy of uh, constellations. Uh, my my nice uh, Wikipedia page. Hey, there it is. Um, I think. God damn it. This is. There it is. And I don't know if they'll give it to you as a. Oh, this is this is an SVG. So here we can do a very basic test uh, using 30 degrees in three hours uh, because these are the values for which they have cross lines. Obviously, I'm, I'm expecting this test to fail. If it works, it is not proof that we're correct because the, the problems we're having are probably finer granularity. But hopefully they're big enough they'll show up here. That's a very strange thing to say, I know. <sighs> okay. So the testing is not difficult to do. Um, might as well call it what it is. Deck minus 90. Deck less than or equal to 90. And we do need that special case. Deck plus equals 30. 4 int RA. Um, yeah, these actually you know, don't need to be ints, but whatever. So what's interesting here is they're going backwards in hours, which is fine, which is actually the correct way to do it. Um, we just have to be a little bit careful here. We want to go from zero to, I think we can go from zero to 24 hours. Equals zero. RA less than or equal to 24. RA plus equals three. And remember, these numbers do multiply. Oh, no, they don't no, need to be multiplied by 3600 because they're being multiplied by 3600 in the target program. So I'm going to print F. Um, oh, and the, because right now for testing the, pro uh, the, the method itself, the function itself, is printing out stuff, we just need to print out um, nothing. Uh, because I think we can even print out the RA in deck here. I mean, we can print out the RA in deck here. And those would be just the things that are sent in as RA and deck. The only problem here is I'm sending in integers, but I don't think that's an issue. Um, and so we just do constellation number uh, R A deck. That is the order. And this looks really bad. Order is R A deck R A no. Semicolon R A is an hours deck in degrees. All right. And then do this, do this, and return zero. Alrighty, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to compile. Um, holy crap, it compiled almost instantly. I mean, not surprising. Alright, okay. Um, interesting. Apparently everything... Oh. That's not looking too good at all there. All right. Um, yeah. Pretty sure this is that's. It's close to the number of. Um, hang on. That's that's weird. So we're expecting plus thirty here. So it's minus ninety. Uh, one two three four five seven times. Oh, it is seven times nine. Okay. So we're getting the right number of answers. We're just getting very very wrong um, values. Uh, and we also kind of want to make life easier. We're going to print the RA. And the, oh, can we print it before we... No, let's not do that. Let's not do that that way. Let's go ahead and print it over 3600 so we know what we're looking at. Okay. Hello, hello, hello! Hello, Beastone2019, who had my... Who was my twin because, you know, we had the same last name, 2019, to Bee's artwork. Um... Welcome, and uh, it good to see you, um, and hopefully the new name, Bee's Artwork, works for you, you know. Bee's Art Honey, or something. And Bee's Artwork is a great name. So, hello and welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming by. If I remember correctly, you're not very technical, but you are very nice, which I guess makes up for it, or something. Okay. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to continue for right now what I was doing. Um, okay, so RA3600 constellation, and, oh, okay. 
Okay, now let's see how this runs. This will probably not give us the correct answer again. Um, I don't think we're going to need cont size, to be honest. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. Frick, 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 frick. Um... Just to get a cleaner compile. Wait, I'm which I did I? Okay. Okay, so for minus ninety degrees we have completely the wrong um completely the wrong constellation. Um I is one twenty three, J see J is zero is not is there's something I think I screwed up the test somehow. Because J obviously can't be zero all the time. So J is less than dex size J plus plus. If dec is less than dex J, break. Uh, and this cannot possibly be correct. Um, yeah, J times R A size plus I, which is where it's actually found. Beautiful. Not so beautiful. Oh! Segmentation fault. Well, that's kind of where I thought it might go, actually. Um, J times RA size plus I. And see, this might be J minus 1 plus RA size plus I minus 1. I, 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 I'm sort of convinced I'm off by 1 here. Okay. Ooh, I really screwed this up. Um, okay, so we will not right now... Okay, so it's possible we're getting the error either in const const val or in the names of const const val. So we need to break these printouts up a little bit. Um, Uh, I think maybe you need to be a little bit more careful. Const val. A little bit uglier, but unfortunately this is const's val. Oh yeah, that sounds much better. That was sarcasm. Const val. And for right now, we'll just have this thing print out. Right ascension, declination, i and j. Um, I think that's all we want for right now. So we obviously want ra deck ij and this stuff we don't need to print. We're not going to print the string right now at all uh, because things are broken much worse than that. Okay, so at this point, um, I still expect this to fail, but we can at least um, comment out stuff if it does. So if the error was only in the um, in the you know the const names thing. Um, yeah, we get it. Ooh, shiny. Um, yeah, for some reason we're going from like J0 to J201. <sighs> and I'm not seeing why. So, yeah. Because by the time you get to this minus 60, uh, wh where you are in the J array should be much, much further along. So I think... Um, um, I think I've got this test wrong, but the weird thing is, it seems to be working for, um, for I. Um, so I seems to be doing the right things. Is Dex not in, um, descending order? Oh, it might not be, actually. Hang on. Um, actually... No, it's in, it's, in, it's in descending order. Okay. Uh, my kingdom for being able to do an include right here. Um, what if you can do that? Um, anyway. We might end up doing that. Very ugly, though. 
Okay, so we're saying j is less than dex size, j plus plus, if, um, so looping through that array, uh, if deck is less than uh, deck size, then we break, so, see, there's something wrong with that test, though. Uh, so you're going from an array, top to, uh, descent, oh wait, descending order, uh-oh, I might have this wrong, um, yes, so th th this is actually a problem then, um, if deck is bigger than, um, so is really in descending order if it's bigger, th yeah, that's, 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 that's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> The problem here is now we're going to be off by a variable because um, this will give us the first element uh, that is bigger than, um, uh, that is smaller than, th that might actually be okay. Uh, that, so we're going de de leaning west and south here, I think. Um, let's see if it, yes, at least it's a short variable. Um, constval it's actually okay that it's that high all the time um 50s we're getting some more var variation here aha constval of minus one is not cool at all um but i think we can merge this back into um wait Uh, how are you taking the negative first array of the uh, negative first element of an array? Is that like a thing you can do? Mm. So why are we not getting a segmentation fault, or are we actually getting a segmentation fault and not seeing it? Um, you should not be able to do that. Okay. Um, all right, that's just weird. And then I'm going to combine those two, and then I'm going to over here uh, go for the actual name, which I. The problem is const const val shouldn't even, even that shouldn't work. So we're kind of double effing it here. And this should really be up top. Okay, so so now we sh we expect errors, but if there aren't any, we have the same issue with. Uh, yep. Okay. Um, Eighty-two thousand three hundred twenty. Well, that actually looks better in terms of where we'd expect to find it. Um, okay, but. See, now we're going to need it again. Const size. <laughs> Never, ever get rid of variables. Ever. Uh, size of consts. Size. And we need it just because we want to do an error condition ch check, check here. Um, if const... const val is... Well, I'm just going to do one one-handed check right now. Is less than const size else I do that and I think that should work and why oh we could oh we have to return something don't we so we're returning minus one but we're not using the return values that's okay da, 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 da. See, if it's not in array, you're not supposed to actually look it up, and I've kind of said that. Am I trying to print the name somewhere down here? I don't think, I'm not even printing anything here. So where are we getting this freaking segmentation fault? Let's see, RA, const value, name not, okay, I'll, just because I'm at the new line, I'm going to recompile it. And this is the kind of bullshit you would not get away with. RA, const val segmentation fault. 
Okay, so, um, no, I mean, that's, that's fine, right? Uh, I guess the only thing is that, um, okay, that's, that, that's way bad. We're looking for a position in the array. How do, I, how do we get that? So, i is 0, j is 201, good, good so far. Um, 200 times RA size plus R minus 1. That's the const value. Um, all right, Pomodoro back in 2 and 2. And we're back. Okay, so I think I've, I've really screwed something up, uh, something here up. So, so let's actually simplify things. Well, we're going to define this. Let's actually simplify things here a bit and not print anything for right now. Except the right ascension declination and the i and j value. So these should sort of, um, uh, let's see, we're going from, down here we're going from 0 to 24, okay, so, um, we should be going from very high values in the array to lower values in the array. So let's see if that, even that happens. Every time. Something's wrong. Okay. Okay, so it's a little bit weird that I only seems to have two values. Zero and 237. That does not seem to be correct. I guess the question is, I think maybe I have one of them going up and one of them going down which is just absolutely terrible, but that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Yep. Always is increasing. Declination is decreasing. And is that... I mean, that's kind of annoying, but it's not super annoying. Um, as you can tell, I'm getting kind of... Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to change like declinations or something. Um, to be also increasing. Let's leave it like this and so this actually now becomes a less than. Um, I, I'm, I'm sad, but we're going to continue. Yeah, we get it. Unused variable. Okay, so here we go. So i is now uh, starts off at the beginning. We're going to the right. It increases. Uh, j is okay. This is good stuff. Now this is good stuff. And this is kind of what we were expecting. All right. So now we need to find the position in the array given i and j, which we have computed nicely, um, but probably incorrectly, but but still nicely. And so J minus one times So this is where we expect in the array to see 
the con in the in the constellations array where to see this uh, uh, where to see this uh, this uh, con this con this value. Yes, yes, everything is unused. Be happy. So this does not look too bad. These look like they're valid positions in the constellations array. Um, I'm hoping even yeah, I think even the the largest one is maybe too large. But we're we're adjusting here. This is actually not um, not final. Um, so now, um, okay. So probably we should call this like the index or something. Um. Yeah. So now we we want to look at the element in the array that we're supposed to be looking at. And this is where we're going to have a terrible problem in just a sec. We want to look at the constellations, uh, you know, the this this thing here. And I get the feeling we're going to hit a segmentation fault. And the reason is because of this. Because it's going to go off just barely off the edge. Ooh, shiny. Mm. Now that's not what I'm expecting. So what the hell is ELT? What the hell am I, am I printing out ELT? Yeah. Um. Now that's weird. Because the const array only has numbers between 1 and 89. So ELT should never be these hideous things. It should be things like 61, 44, 33, blah, blah, blah. So why is it something this weird here? And I think this might be one of those bizarre cases where um, C is not bothering to do any sort of memory bounding and we're getting stuff that's totally outside, that has nothing to do with the array. Okay. So problematic here. And, yep, 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 yep. and we're going into a different array basically. So we, we, d we're not, we don't have array bounding uh, correctly here. Uh, but let's see. 47,400 is too big to be a position, so what's the biggest? We're seeing 47,610. And the only thing I can think of is because of the way I'm doing this, it's actually J minus 2 and I minus 2. And if that's the case, I, I need to fix the code, but let's see if that's what, that's what the issue is at least. Um... Uh, and again, we're seeing the elements are way too big for uh, for the array. I mean, way up here they are. They actually get pretty decent. Nope, they don't. Okay. So let's go ahead and just uh, remind ourselves. Um, and I guess this will make this happy too, but I only want to do it once. And I don't know if I can do that. Oh well, we'll print it every time. So what is the size of the const array? And we have that, it's const size. But I think it's 47200 we decided. Um, and now we're going to see it every single time. Because that's awesome. Yeah, okay. And so here, this is reasonable. This is not reasonable. This is numbers too high. Um, So the question is, and I think the problem here is J201. I think the um, this is one past the end of the this is one past the end of the uh, array of declinations. So so that's not good. So I guess we could say size of const dex ros. And again, we do have these as variables. Might as well use them, right? Okay, and let's see if this is where we're we're gonna we're gonna die basically. Okay. All right. So there's 201 declinations. So we definitely need to remove. We need to go down by one on J for sure, unquestionably. There are 201 elements in in RAs. 
So I think that is j minus 1. And for some reason I'm now thinking it's actually going to be... Um, I mean, crap. Times already size... Th th we're off by 1 here. I think it's already size minus 1 is what I actually want. And then plus i minus 1. And I'm just, by the way, guessing at values until we get, some get it right. Uh, which is a good technique. You should try it. Eventually, eventually the code will match the output we want. And again, clearly we're going off the edge of this array, which we don't want. Um, so the array size is 200 times 236, I think we determined. Uh, except, my let me see, I'm pretty sure I fixed this in aliases, so let's take a quick... Uh, do this. There we go. Alright, so that's 47,200. Um, so as long as i remains between... Um, let's see, so this is going to be 0 to 199? That doesn't seem right. Um, oh, actually, that might be right. Because uh, this array is 201. But there's only 200 possible positions that should ever be because there should be a lower bound. So the fact that we're getting 201 here is uh, distressing. We should be getting a number between 0 and... Hmm. Zero and one ninety nine actually. All right. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Hmm. And I think we're breaking it with a minus ninety. I mean, that should not break it. Um. But let's see if it's okay for things that are not minus 90, just, just for right now, because we could handle minus 90 as a special case. Okay, so 41, 65, 28, 19, looking good here. I mean, these are elements that actually exist in the array, so that's, that's a good thing. Oh, element 0, that's probably okay. Um, element 24, 14. Uh, I'm seeing if we have another problem here at the, at the very top. Uh, we don't. Actually, that's Ursa Minor. It's good stuff. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and ignore minus 90 for now. Um, this is not the way to do things, but it will work. So now, uh, if that's the only problem, I'm, I don't have a problem with that. That's a special case. It's always going to be inside octons if that's the case. So now we're going to say names of constant value. And now we will not get a segmentation fault, God willing. Okay. So we're saying 0 minus 60 is Tukana. We probably need a better way to look this up, but I mean, actually maybe not. So declination, wait, really? Oh yeah, yeah, minus 60 declination. And zero hours here, so we go all the way to the right. I think it is actually Tukana. Yes, it is. Nice. One down. One million to go. Um, and now, of course, that we, we've done this, we now need to make it a little bit cleaner. Uh, so I don't want to stop these print. We might need these printfs again at a later time. So for right now, let's see if we can do something like... Um, Where's my big frickin' printf? That's gone, I guess. Alright. So all we really want now is a printf of uh, ra, deck, and name. And that is going to be ra over 3600, because we're doing it in multiples. Deck over 3600. And here's where it's ugly. It's going to be const, const val, names of all that. Today on how not to program this. 
Alright. Okay, so... Horologium. Um... So, RA3-60. Um... Yeah, it looks like Horologium to me. That's, I think that's a word for clock. Pick for 6 and minus 60. And it looks good to me. We're, we're going to get one wrong, I think. 9 and minus 60 is Karina. No girl named Karina once, which is very nice. Then we're going to expect Crux. And uh, that's a close one there. So did we get Crux for this one? Okay. And then uh, 15 minus 60. I think we can go far enough here to see the actual intersection. I think that is that is Cirque. And then 18 minus 60 will be the next one. That should be Pavo. Border. <laughs> Let's see. Pavo, Pavo. I think that... I think this is... I think we can call this Pavo. It's, it's right at the border, I think. And then, boo over here, Tucana. So for minus 60 degrees, we have checked it out. It has worked. Okay. Now, for minus 30 degrees... Wait, why does this have a thing on the right? Okay, whatever. Uh, so we're going to expect Sculptor Fornax Columbia as being the first one. Sculptor... Oh, hang on, hang on. We got something going on. Sculptor Fornax Oh, and Columba. Did I just say that? There it is. The next three constellations should be... Um, Pixis, Hydra, Libra barely. Ooh, 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 ooh. we have Lupus, we have... We, we have Lupus. I think that's close enough to the boundary that we, we, we were willing to call it Lupus. Um, and... This one, I don't know where they're drawing the boundaries at here. Let's maybe, let's, this time let's let the program tell us what it is. Sagittarius. And that actually does seem correct. I, I'm willing to accept it. Then we should have Microscopium, and finally, something else. And I think the problem here is this actually goes off to the, the, the edge on the left. So we need to check from over here, which is Sculptor. Oh yeah, because it's the continuation of Sculptor. Wow, so far so good. We are going to check all of these, by the way, because there's not, not that many of them. All right, on the equator, we, we should expect to hit Pisces, Cetus, and Orion should be the first three. Pisces, Cetus, and Orion, nice job. Um... Then we should see Hydra, Virgo, and Serpent's Kaput, I think. Uh-oh. Hydra, Virgo, and l not Serpent's Kaput. Okay, so bad things have happened now. Hydra, Hydra, Virgo, and then... Corner case, which I'm willing to call Libra. So that's okay. I think I'm, I messed up. And then... Serpens. Kind of wish it went between Kaput and Kata, but it doesn't. Um, and that is correct there. So then Aquarius and Pisces doing the reverse check. Aquarius is there, and that is, that is the first point of uh, Aries, which is now in Pisces. So that is actually correct. Okay, looking good. Oh, we can't, we can't scroll anymore. So now on the um, 30th declination line, and wherever the fuck that is, let's even do these ones backwards. We're so excited. Pegasus, Cygnus, Hercules should be the last three. Mm. Let's do these in order then. 
Okay. Badness has happened. So Andromeda... Borderline... Um, I'll say Ares is good enough. Ariga, the charioteer. And then... Now, we had lupus earlier, but now we have cancer, so that, that's... I think that cancer cures lupus or something. So is this Coma Bernices? It is. Then... I lied about booties. Okay, that's good. And then... Hercules, and then... Cygnus. I think that's all That's all there, though. Yeah, and then Andromeda again, because we're looping around. Actually, the 0 and 24 values should be the same, because they're the same point on the celestial sphere. Okay, it's Pomodoro time, back in 2 and 2. And I am back. Okay, believe it or not, this is actually just the first part of the problem. The other part is we have to precess to uh, B 1875. Uh, we cannot use J 2000 coordinates. Um, I mean, they're going to be fairly the same, but not exactly. Um, so then we can test, or we can test with J 2000 coordinates right now. Um, but I'm going to try to see if we can do the procession, because we are, we are funkin' cool. Now, the question is, does C-Spice have that function? I don't need this anymore. I don't need this anymore. I'm going to keep that going for a bit. Um, we will get back to this. Um, so, we probably don't need that anymore. Probably don't need to do that anymore anymore. We'll keep Plotly going. And I think I don't have Sea Spice here. So, well, there it is. Okay, uh, reference guide. So now, here's where it gets interesting. The Basellian date uh, has been computed, which is what they call it because it's not really Julian, because we didn't know the shape of the Earth at the time, has been computed for... 1900, as you can see, and 1950, and obviously J2000 is for us. But can we use this function to get other Basilian... Um, oh. Oh, that's a constant. Well, that's not helpful at all. Um, built-in frame IDs. Oh, that might be what we want. We want, might want a built-in frame. Um... Frame information, name to frame, okay. Um, let's see what, there's a document here called frames.req. Uh, that's the required reading for um, then should actually be mentioned here, frames. Ooh, frame.req, no, hello. Uh, required reading SPK, well, all right. Somewhere there'll be something that has a built-in frame IDs. 
required reading frames. Bummer. And I think this is because of where I put it. But anyway, um, we can find it here. Um, because uh, I know I have it. And I'm pretty sure it's not even in HTML. Really? Why don't I have frames? Let's just look for anything with the word frames in it. I'm pretty sure I have it. Mm-hmm. Or do I mean frame? I probably mean frame. And this is the file that I hope they're talking about. No. Okay. Panic. Let's see if we can find frame. Oh, hello, hello, hello. No, 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 no. Um. No, 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 no. You, you are going to be banned. Every time I'm a user, I've got to make this thing wider so I can get rid of the X thing of him. All right, uh, not cool. Following bot. I don't want fake users. I want real users. I don't even want real users. So screw you. Okay. Um. This is interesting. I do have some copies of this. <whistles> Actually, I don't. All of the copies I appear to have are on a drive that got wiped out. This is not happiness. I am surprised that it's not built into the Spice documentation. Hang on. I mean, it's not built into the Spice build. They give you a lot of other crap. Why don't they give you this? Oh, it's frames are... Really? They don't give you <laughs> frames or EQ or frame. Uh, let's see, are there any subdirectories here? Okay, there's HTML, but I think things just get worse there. User guide, frame. Yeah, so that's just that one function. Uh, I could get a list of built in frame IDs. Uh, by using the function built-in frame IDs, but let's go and use our good friend um, Google. CSpice built-in frames. Okay, and I really should have this document already. Um, here we go. Uh, the numeric IDs, Earth mean uh, B 1950 is precessing backward, blah, 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 blah. The FK4, DE 118, back in the day. All these other things no one cares about. Galactic system, which is actually useful. Um, ecliptic J2000, ecliptic B 1950. Oh my god. Okay, so nothing actually useful here. Um, let's see if the word 1875, no, it's not mentioned at all. Okay, so our friend Google, C spi Spice. This B1875 frame might be useful to someone. Must include B1875. Yeah, that's... Oh my fucking god. Really? I mean, it might be called B1875.0, but still. Ooh. Wow. All right. <laughs> Literally, this is probably the closest we're going to get to it. Is that a PDF? Hang on. Let's see if that was a PDF that got downloaded. Um, but I mean, we're we're in the boonies here now. Oh. It is a PDF. Okay, 1875, well it's on someone's frickin' to-do list at least, 
Uh, can I see where it is? Alright, hang on. I will make this bigger, and I will also need to zoom in quite a bit, actually, I think. Okay. Okay. Age. So this is actually not... Um, Yeah, apparently there is no, um, the 1875 has nothing to do with the year 1875. Okay. Why does Ed, no one want this? Let's, I'm pretty sure if I do this, we're not gonna, it's gonna just die. Now still 100 results. I'm really surprised that the mailing list doesn't have anything for um, for that. Sea Spice, uh, let's Delaporte is probably not going to give us anything. That's the guy who wrote the constellation, um, um, the constellation, um, the constellation boundaries in 18 with B1875. Um, okay, well. Let's see if we can do a precess to give an... Okay, well... I don't... No, no, I want to see precess. Um... Okay... But if I'm correct, this function literally just gives you the the Julian date of this day. Um, and do I want, I would necessarily want the word precess in there, or precession, the equivalent of precess. Um, All right, let's just look at what we have here. So this does not look like it's doing anything interesting. That's not interesting at all. <sighs> Let's see if we can do procession in Sea Spice. Um, hmm. Could I use... Okay. That might be one way to do it. Oh, I forgot about these stupid things. Yeah, these are, there's hidden functions in Spice that I have actually used before for procession. Um... Yeah, this is getting very ugly, though. But let's take a quick look at them anyway. Uh, they're the ZZ functions, and they will show up here. Um, and I think they will return the um, the obliquity. And well, let's let's see what they do. We can actually f we can actually find these. Um, well, actually, let's 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 see what I how I have them documented. Okay. Yeah, this is, of course, the playground, so I d there's nothing really good in here. Um, ZZ, okay, so the nutation and the obliquity. Um, 
So apparently... Mother of God. Boy, I wish I knew what the hell I was doing here. Because it seems like what I need to do. Um... So apparently here I'm trying to create a, a matrix uh, of uh, that will fix the um, oh this is the I think this is the um, obliquity and nutation of the ecliptic compared to the equator. Uh, so so there really should be a way of getting the um, the procession, the, the matrix of con uh, the transformation from J2000 to any date at all. Um, but this routine doesn't actually do that, I don't think. I think this PX form is the thing I'm going to look at now. And by the way, if you think I have no idea what I'm doing, you are absolutely freaking right. Um, and if you think I've also lost my... Um, C spice documentation, you're also right. But PX form might be the magic. Position transformation matrix. That doesn't seem like it's going to be very good, but let's see what it does. <gasps> Returns a matrix that transfers position vectors from one specified frame to another at a specified epoch. So this might be the way to do it. Um, okay. Mm. The problem here is the name of the reference frame is which I the epoch. So, do I just want to say like J2000 to J2000? Um, Unless I'm misreading this, this, this literally does nothing because ET is going to be just zero, which is the J2000 epoch. Okay. Okay, so this I think is the right kind of thing. Um, let's, let's just see how it's defined. Position transformation matrix. Oh, there's another one. There's two of them. Um, other specified. Okay. The only thing that's bugging me here is, do I mean J2000? Because J2000 is a fixed frame for 2000, or is it? Can I use J2000 um, as one of my variables here? Uh, let's see. Yeah, recla this is the, this is the, I'll have to convert stuff into um, rectangular coordinates, run the matrix back into spherical coordinates. But that's actually okay. Um... I don't think the source is going to be that helpful. That's interesting. That's not what I wanted to do, though. All right. Um, okay. Well, you know, maybe maybe you have something else here for us. Uh, matrix. There's a lot of matrix crap here, though. Quaternion, rotation axis of a matrix, generator rotation matrix, rotate a matrix, yeah, this is... Uh, the, the problem is this has to be like matrix at a given epoch. Um, okay, good, that has that in there. It's the only time the word epoch occurs. 
Okay. So the question is, does this actually correctly transform um, from J2000 to, or any actually frame, uh, to be 1850, 1875? We can check this, by the way, with Stellarium because it does, uh, it does do precession and it gives us both the declination at J2000 and the declination of the date. Um, the fact that we have a routine called Ikik date here. Oh, Pomodoro time back in two and two. And I'm back. Okay, um, so somewhere in here we have something called ikik date TF. Um, okay. Okay, and this actually will um, convert uh, a right ascent. Well, this is this will convert between frames, and oh god damn it! I've done this before. I've used this um, thing here. Um, convert between. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's playground. That converts between um, two frames. Ikik to a clip, and that I think is actually in my um, ECLib. Uh, Ikik. Okay, here it is. So what does this do? Oh, good, it's not documented. Um, and take ET as a pointer. Okay. Gives in the ellipse and the notation and longitude. I'm reusing Ikik date and the derivative of these angles, which I also don't need. Um, so what the hell does this do? Um, I'm pretty sure that's the only place I use the ZZ functions though. Yeah. Okay. So this should not be difficult. Um, so I guess what I need is like a frame transformation thingy. In native frame, that's not what I want. Two vectors dump. Built-in frame IDs, that we can do that. Um, center stick ID, center name to associated frame. Build a right-handed coordinate frame. Frame information. 
Frame name. Kernel pool frame IDs. Name frame. Okay. God damn it. I think we've we've gone past. Uh, yeah. So we want to convert between frames. And. Um, we can certainly get positions in frames. That's not hard. Uh, but that's not what we want to do here. Um, all right, let's see what we're trying to do here. Um, let's see. All right, let's just see if we can do this with Google, our good friend Google. Is that our good friend Google? C spice convert between frames. So these will be matrix conversions between uh, frames. Yeah, there we go. Turns their state uh, in a specified reference frame. Um, the two user level functions that are SX form, there we go. Um, okay. So that's not actually that hard. Um, so if I'm doing this correctly, We just need to transform from J2000 to ekeek date, uh, and ET is just going to be the uh, epoch at 1875. I said that like I knew what I was talking about, but um, let's actually go ahead and do that. Um, and that would make a good general function later, but not right now, because I'm in a hurry. I don't know why I'm in a hurry. Um, But we, we can, and we'll put it to do. That means we never have to do it. Um, improve for any date. And so this is going to return. God damn it. Let me check something real quick. Do I have, whoa, that's not what I meant to do. Do I have any functions that do not return? Um, I think, do I have a spherical to XYZ fun I do not, because I use theirs. So I don't think I have any function that tries to return an array, so we will have to do this the way they do it, which is we will return void. Um, and because I don't want to get confusing there. And what it will do is it will take a right ascension and a declination. And it will take return a right ascension and a declination, which will have to be passed as freaking parameters. Hang on. God damn it. I hate C so much. Void space. Um, uh, double time space. Okay. So we just... Um, Okay, spice. Okay, that that is okay. So uh, that's how we pass a pointer. So this is going to be um, double star pointer to RA out, double star deck out. So you put those in as uh, your pointers, and we we fill them up for you. Okay. So the first thing we need to do, unfortunately, is we need to convert. Um, well, actually, hang on. Can we? Can we keep these coordinates spherical? I don't think we can, actually, to be honest. Let's see what this does. Okay. Yep. Oh, so I guess the cool thing here is it actually returns a matrix, um, which we could probably print out. Um, okay. All right. So we can be a little bit simpler than this right now. We can just um, we can just just fuck ourselves. Okay, we can just um, create that uh, matrix for right now and print it out. So let me go ahead and uh, copy the signature of PX form. Uh, but that doesn't really seem too hard actually. And I think the reason it's not hard is because we have the uh, the very nice. Um, 
the very nice e -key date already defined for us. So we want px form C. We want it from J2000. And again, this could be um, any frame. Eek, eek date. That's the ec Yeah, that is what the one. Hang on. Is it eek, eek date? Yeah, okay. There's two of them in there, and one of them is the ecliptic, and I don't want that one. I want the one that's equ equatorial. Uh, and this one over here is ecliptic. Yeah, okay, eek, eek date's correct. Okay, and then ET, um, before he phones home, um, I need to figure out how many seconds before the year 2000, 1875 was. So we will, this probably won't work. Okay, that did work. And then... So basically, it's this number minus this number, because they their reference point date is 2000, not uh, 1970. God damn it! So that is the ET that we need, I, I think. And then we want the output to be matrix. And then... Um, we want to print out that matrix. Well, I actually just want to make sure it's not the identity matrix. That's the, that's the sort of big concern right now, is that this won't do anything, meaning it'll print out the identity matrix. Um, So let's take a look at that real quick. And since there's currently no main method, um, no, there is a main method, but we're not using it. Uh, we're, not, we don't, we're not calling this from it, so I think we can, um, 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 let's see. This, I think, is part of the... Yeah, this is part of the double for loop. And I think this is now what we want. And then all we need to do right now is just say J2000 to be 1875. Uh, we need, do need a... We do need a... Um, We do need to pass it addresses to two variables, so we'll just say this doesn't matter, but this does need to be, and it's probably going to whine at us for not um, not actually defining, sending them in, but not ever defining them. I'm tempted to just force the definition, but let's see if we can get away without doing that. Um, Oh, 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 that's why C is such a terrible language. You have to declare your functions before you can use them, or, you know, use a header file to declare their signature at the very least. Okay, let's try this again. Um, implicit declaration of PX form C? Uh, no, that is a very real function. That one you should have. Oh, right, because we haven't yet included the PIX libraries yet. That's why. <laughs> um, and I don't know where I... Where they are. There, I think they might be just included here, just to have fun with it. Um, uh, studio stood... I, know, I might as well do std arg while I'm at it. I might as well make this equivalent. Or I could just include bclib.h, which probably would have been better. In fact, let me go ahead and do that. How do I include bclib.h? Is there a good... I don't think there's a clever way to do it. I think you just have to basically say, yeah, that. Oh, user bc git astro bclib.h, because life sucks. All right, let's see if that helps. 
Ah. No characters ignored. What the? There are no freaking no characters. All right, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. The function ekeek date was not recognized as a frame, and you know why? Because they did not load standard dot uh, tm. That's why. So now this is getting closer and closer to being like a real, um, a real program, uh, a real Spice program, so I'd need to start including stuff that Spice needs, such as this sucker. I'm not happy about that either, actually, because it's very specific. Okay, now. Yep, and the problem here is that because I didn't change, um, Oh, I did. That should... I didn't save it, I think. Maybe that was the problem. Here we go. Alright. Ooh! That actually looks like a real... very close to it, the identity matrix, but not the identity matrix, which is exactly what I expected. So now... Now, now, now... Um, now we saved it to git before I forget. Okay, and probably going to do another 15 minutes on this, uh, I think. Okay. So now, that is pretty damn good. Okay, so we have this matrix of transformation. Uh, we now need to convert RA deck 1 into rectangular coordinates, apply the matrix, go back to spherical coordinates, and the radius is still going to be 1 because it's a rotational matrix, and then return those two values. And we have to do it before the Jade Pixie run. I don't know. We don't know what the hell that is. Um, so I'm going to just see how I've used, I know I've used spherical to rectangular many, many, many times. By which I mean one time. And so I might as well look at the uh, instructions here. Uh, spherical. Yep. I think these are all pretty standard, actually. You give them a, um, the, sp the rectan is actually the output, uh, but it's an array, so okay. Colat, I don't think that matters because we are, we're using C-Spice for the whole thing. So, um, double... Actually, I think we can do this just as pause. So, we get that matrix. Um, we're going to do spherical rectangular, right? Yeah. Oh, fudge mallows. Yeah, we do actually do need to... Um, we need to adjust for the fact that this is the co-latitude, which is also the co-declination. Um, colat, lawn, okay. Um, I think they actually have a function called half pi c. Minus deck, because it is the co-declination. Um, unless I put that in the spot for the RA, which I didn't mean to. And then the longitude, which by which we mean the right ascension. Um, and then we want the matrix pause out. Um, yeah. We want the value, the pause will now be the XYZ value. And because we care we will go ahead and print it out. Um, okay, so now that we have that, we want to go ahead and multiply it by the matrix, and that one is, um, that one's pretty, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say it. Um, 
MXV. I'm pretty sure that is actually what we want. MXV, um, ma multiply a matrix by a, uh, multiply a vector by a matrix. Matrix times vector, yep. So MXVC. The matrix is the matrix. The vector is pause. All we need is a new pause vector. Okay. And then we need to convert did I actually say here spherical to rectangular when I meant to say spherical rectangular C? Probably. Okay, Pomodoro. Let me take a quick check of something, though. Um, yeah, back in 2 and 2. Probably by the next Pomodoro, I will be signing off. back. So we have the mul we've multiplied it and now we want to go the other way. Okay. And now we want to convert new position uh, back into uh, spherical uh, into spherical coordinates. Yeah, Rex, see? Um, Okay. I think we can do this. Let me check. Do I actually need to put them out as separate elements? I might actually. Oh no, it could they can be they can be an array. And then the stuff it gets back is going to be um This is just because I have to send it in. Because in order for Rectosphere to work, I need to send in the new, Jesus Christ, the new, um, the new R, then the Colat, then the Lawn. So, new R, it doesn't, it's going to be one. Um, the Colat, so we're going to put it in deck out for right now, and then we're going to put it in RA out for now, but, 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 uh, the deck out we do actually have to, um, fix because it's the co declination not the declination um, so it's that now this function returns void so it doesn't need to do anything um, but it'll if this this works it'll assign to the uh, the variables you sent in um, actually hang on this might be not th I might just need to not put it in the ampersand here because these are all pointers to begin with so let me see if this compiles, and I, if it doesn't, I think I know what's wrong. I mean, one of the many things that's wrong. Um, yep. It's a pointer to a pointer. It's not there. So this is what we're going to do. Um, oh, yes, you are correct. Deck out is the pointer uh, to the variable star deck out is the actual variable. Isn't that fun? Nice. <laughs> nice. And by the way, I don't think it actually does anything right now. N nothing useful. 
Oh yeah, it prints out the matrix. Okay, let me go ahead and save this since it actually compiled. Save it by meaning um, shove it to GitHub. Okay. So now, if this is working correctly, um, we can see that this is actually extremely useless because um, these will be in radians. Actually, maybe we can do a little bit better. Hang on. Um, some radians, so if I divide by pi and multiply by 12, that's, that's, um, and here I multiply over pi over c and multiply by 180, that should be degrees and hours. Okay. So tell me, where has 0, 0, um, where has the equator been processed to? That's a difficult question. Okay, at least it did. Um, that's quite a bit of precession, actually. I mean, you know, for, for the equator. Um, am I, do I want to fire up? I want to fire, I always want to fire up Stellarium. So that's a stupid question. Um, For some reason, it doesn't work in this screen, but it does work in this screen. If you can figure out why, please contact me at who gives a fuck. All right, the old yeah yeah we don't care. We also don't like the default view or the default angle. Um, I don't know. We keep using them. Well, I do because I don't never bother to change them. So I'm going to assume it's 1875.11000. Last part really doesn't matter. And now I want an equatorial grid. And I also want to be viewing it, this as a fixed mount. This is kind of nice that the equatorial grid is a little bit tilted because um, plus 36, because we are not in J2000 anymore. And it just bugs me that these things come up right at the edge and they're not bright enough to see. Constellation stuff. All right, so let's go over here to the um, la 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 to the equator. Um, there it is, and the zero hour, which I think is in this direction actually. Um, okay, so this is the intersection of the zero. Hour. There's nothing there, but you know. That's hardly a problem. All right, for over here, um, so we're looking for something that has a HA and declin RA and declination of effectively zero zero in J two thousand, and it should end up at. Duh, that didn't do anything. That's also bad. And it should end up at about minus six minutes and minus 0.69 degrees. So we really should be able to kind of find it here. Um, like this one, maybe. Um, nope, wrong one. Sorry, this one. All right, in J2000, it was 0008. And on date, it is that. We can go a little bit further to the left. Um, and a little bit down. So let's go down here. On J2000, it was still a little bit above the... So this is actually kind of good. We are seeing that, um, you know, when the uh, when the J2000 date was four minutes above the equator, the um, the new date is minus 37 minutes, which is close to minus 6 point, no, minus 0.69. So that is a good thing there. We're going to go over here now. Declination uh, minus 15. So one thing we could, in theory, do. I don't know if I really want to do it. Um, I don't think you can tap on empty points. Um, we could change it so there's many, many more stars displayed, which I'm going to do now. Um,
and then we should actually be able to see get a star very close to where we want. Now this is a very special case. This is like one, literally one test. Um, we do obviously want more tests. Stars. Mm -hmm. Obviously aren't any... Okay, that didn't help really. Um, badness. Um, So let's go ahead and set up our. Um, let's go ahead and set up our. Right now the problem is zero is you know zero is zero radians blah 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 blah. Um, what we really want is we want to convert. Um, let's say we want to convert one hour and fifteen degrees. We obviously can't send them like that. We have to send them like um, this is hour, so it's already over twelve times pi c. And declination we have to do as declination. Oops over 180 times pi c. So this is actually a much, much better test because of course we're, we're using non, you know, th something that isn't obviously zero, zero. Um, so let's see what this does. If this actually works, I will be surprised more so than I am with anything of that I do working. It's, I don't think, it, I don't think it's, I think it'll compile. I'm, I'm okay with that part right now. And we probably don't need to be printing the matrix anymore. Okay, so it said if you had a right ascension of, you know, if you were at one hour and 15 degrees in 2000, you will be at 0.89 RA and 14.3. So you move a little bit to the, uh, because RAs are backwards, to the right and down. So let's see if we can uh, find something that's uh, like that. This is a much better test, of course, because we are... Oh, uh, we are not using zero. I think I just said that, so I'm probably being redundant here. Okay, so this guy? Okay, so one hour, five minutes, and 14. So the um, the right ascension has, has um, become lower as expected, and the declination has become lower as expected by about 40 minutes. This is, of course, not exactly where we need it to be. We need it to be a little bit closer to this and a little bit higher here. So it's like this right here. Uh, no, that's way too high. And that here. And this is not the most efficient way to test. This might be the least efficient way to test. Um, I was pretty close, actually. Um... Uh, let's see, one hour, six minutes. We want to go a little bit to the left here. One hour, four. Okay, that's actually not that close after all. It was close. One hour and 1450, so we want something that's a little bit higher and a little tiny bit. I don't think there's going to be one, though, that does that. So this guy's way too high up. Yeah. So I think this is probably the best we're going to do. It's not even a star. Okay, so roughly speaking, one hour and 15 degrees, and now it is at 54 minutes of arc um, and 14.32. So, th okay. So a decrease of about 40 minutes here, which is 40 over 60. Uh, if we subtract that from 15, do we get something that's pretty damn close? So I now believe that we are doing a correct conversion um, from right ascension and declination as viewed today versus as viewed in 1875 when Mr. Delaporte uh, defined the constellation lines. And I don't like him. Um, because I think I ranted about constellations in the last stream, so I won't rant again. Um, okay, so now we're actually ready for the, the test of known stars and known constellations if, let's see, if we will get the, uh, the constellation correct. We still need to do a little bit of work uh, in terms of... Um, in terms of actually getting the program to, you know, uh, print names and blah, 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 blah. Um, instead of printing out numbers and, you know, we'll need to combine the steps of precession and uh, finding the constellation. I don't think any of that is troublesome. 
The only slight issue might be if you are like right at the edge, uh, like at minus 12 RA or something, you kind of want to make sure that your right ascension is um, is between 0 and 2 pi, or you know, negative pi and pi, whatever it is you decide, but it has to be between those ranges. So we're looking for maybe corner cases need to be fixed. So I'll put that over here. Um, Uh, plus minus 90 deck and plus minus well let's see 0 and 24 hours RA because yeah, in those cases the procession might send them beyond the bounds beyond bounds need to F mod we need to make sure they stay within those numbers by d using a floating point mod function all right so before we do that and uh, you know in the few minutes we have Let's try to find a list of stars we can use. And I don't think I don't think that would be a problem actually. Um, oh, this is from Mathematica actually, kind of nice. Um, but not useful to what we're doing. Um, I think there is any there is. This guy is one of the oldest things I know about, and. It is, you can see each star has the last three digits are the constellation. We have the right ascension and we have the declination. This is gorgeous. Uh, this is, and I think the declination actually is 0 to 24, and the right ascension is, the pff, right ascension is 0 to 24, and the declination is negative 90 to plus 90. So this is the, uh, this is, we're going to tweak it obviously, um, but this is the thing we're going to send into. Uh, into the C program um, to basically uh, check to see whether the procession combined with the uh, constellation identification is correct to at least the point of doing this. Uh, obviously, we don't, we're not checking every point. We still have to worry about the corner cases. Um, and then we can uh, start building up our little, uh, you know, when does the sun enter a given constellation uh, kind of thing. Um, and the only thing I'm slightly worried about is uh, when we compute the sun's position, well, I guess when we compute the sun's position, we can use J2000 even if we're, you know, far away from that, uh, you know, and then go to 1875. In theory, we could compute the sun's position in the, in the, you know the uh, with the procession that's of the date that we're calculating it convert that to 1875 um, also which would be less tedious than going between you know from that to J2000 to be 1875 I don't think I care I don't think that's going to be a serious issue um, thank you for watching the stream I hope to be back later this afternoon